Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Portrait. I'm your host, Robert. Just got off of NBC with the uh, Dead on Tools 300, or 250, excuse me, NASCAR Xfinity Race. What a finish. Final four going to championship weekend. We have three junior motorsports cars. We have Josh Berry in the eight, the nine of Noah Gregson, the seven of Justin Algar, and then the 54, Ty Gibbs of Joe Gibbs Racing. What an ending. Ty Gibbs <clears throat> taking out his teammate for a victory. Um, that, that, I mean, that's straight up what happened. He took his teammate out, but here's the thing. There's no team orders. Y'all can't, nobody can say, well, Joe Gibbs Racing is, you know, Doing something to cause the out, change the outcome of race, they did. They took it, literally took his teammate out. I'm fine with it, honestly. I'm not a Ty Gibbs fan. I root for the kid. I think he's young, talented. I think he can drive a sure drive a race car, but it's an unwritten rule. You don't take your teammate out for a victory. You know what? Ty Gibbs has done it twice this year. But you know what? That's the way the kid's gonna race. It's gonna come back to him. Everybody going, he's not ready for cup. He's not ready for cup. Why? <laughs> I mean, come on. You think his teammate Denny Hamlin's going to put up with that? Somebody's going to spin this kid. We all know it. You know what? Let's take a look at his three victories in 2022 where he is uh, bumped a team, or two of me bumped a teammate, and one he bumped a veteran. Let's take a look. So this is the restart here with three to go. So we can see Joe, uh, Ty Gibbs is leading. See right there, Brandon Jones got in the back of him, moved him up to make it three wide with Noah and Ty in the middle. And then Sheldon Creed almost made it four wide. Creed got pushed Brandon Jones up. But again, Gibbs got into Brandon Jones right before this. And then here it comes. Yep. Just wrecked a teammate to win a race. There's a caution. Caution comes up after the white flag. Ty gives his victory. He goes ahead and burns him down. So Ty Gibbs went ahead and did a big old burnout. And the whole crowd booed, which I absolutely love. Here's the thing, though. We talk about teammates wrecking teammates. Brandon Jones has one race left for Joe Gibbs. That's next week at Phoenix. He's not a teammate going forward. Even if, even if Ty Gibbs is still in the Xfinity Series... Brandon Jones is in the nine for uh, replacing Noah Gregson next year. He's not like a... And the fact that Brandon Jones moved him first. So people are, gonna lo are losing their mind over this. But hey, it's great, you know. Let's go ahead and take a look at Richmond where Ty Gibbs did a similar move on John Hunter Nemechek when John Hunter was in the 18th. Yeah, so this is the final lap at Richmond. And Ty Gibbs comes down on John Hunter and basically, like John Hunter said, doesn't turn, pushes John Hunter up, and then <clears throat> Ty goes on to get the victory. So yeah, so that was Richmond earlier this year. Yeah, John Hunter was upset. <clears throat> but you know what? To me, that's part of racing. If this would have been anybody else besides a Joe Gibbs car, I don't think people will be losing their mind. The fact that it was a Joe Gibbs car, it was a, technically a teammate, and the fact that that teammate would have made the playoffs. Ty Gibbs is already locked into the playoffs. But, I, I mean, again, I have no issue with this. I have no issue with that one there. I'm a, John, I'm a bigger John Hunter fan than I am Ty Gibbs. I had no issue with that because that's just racing. You know what? He did it. You could, I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes on the last lap, last corner, just like at... Circuit of America this year when Ross dumped A.J. Allmendinger. Yeah, some people boo, but these people were booing like, I've never heard that many boos at, before. And for, he was going like this, like, bring it on, people. I mean, that's Martinsville short track racing. Come on. Look what happened at the end of the modified race on Thursday. Corey LaJoy took out two championship guys to win, a, win the race. But also, now let's take a look at Ty Gibbs and Kyle Larson at Road America in the Xfinity Series. When the few Kyle uh, Larson Xfinity races this year. Hang on, let's take a look at that next. 
Yeah, so this is two to go at Road America. Larson is leading in HendrickCars.com, number 17. And then Ty is second. On the last lap, where he basically almost dumped him. Is it right here? I can't remember exactly where it was at. I mean, he tried there, kind of missed. So I thought he actually dumped him. Maybe he just passed him clean. Let's finish this lap here at Run America. Maybe that was that. No, and I, I know so many people are going to say, well, what's the difference between what he did there and what Bubba Wallace did Cal, to uh, what Bubba Wallace did Cal Larson at uh, Vegas? He he should get one race suspension. He purposely took out somebody. Guys, it's it's way different. Way 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 million times different. The speed is different. The what he actually did was different. Everything about it is different. You know, you know we go back and say, well, look, look what Noah Gregson did to Sage Karam at Road America. Um, it just it seems that no, it's not. He took out 13 cars with him. This is just the two of them. Um, nothing's gonna come of this. We're gonna have a final four. We're gonna have a championship four. This is gonna be talk of the week until something happens tomorrow. But Brandon Jones versus Ty Gibbs. I think it was a fair fight. I don't have a problem with it. That's racing short track. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader sports sound content.